Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Chop, chop, woo! <laughs> so, um, you may notice that I'm on a private server, <clears throat> and that's because I joined like three different servers, and every single one of them got flooded with people going, please accept, accept me, friend request, please, please, please. And I'm like, I, I can't, I can't do that. Oh, and something else I was trying out. Um, so I was wanting to try and keep the circle the way it was, and I wanted to like build around it. There's no way for me to build around that thing, and I'll show you why. So if you have a um, a wedge, hold on, how do I explain this? Turn, rotate. No, nope. turn, rotate. There we go. Okay, so if you have a wedge and you want to place another wedge against it, the only way to do so is to place them bottom to bottom. You cannot place them top to top. There's a there's a, a gap thingy there. So when I built this, um, here, I'll show you. This little piece right here, it's a one and a half uh, by one, right? And if I go into my blueprints and I try and place one of those down, one and a half by one, let's see, turn, turn. Uh, yeah, rotate, rotate, rotate. So that's the shape it should make right there, but I can't place it down because it still registers as a rectangle. So the top half of the other rectangle and the top half of this rectangle, they're kind of colliding into each other and it's like, I'm not doing that. So I won't be able to save my circle, but that's okay. I think, uh, I, think I can build a better circle. So let's just go ahead and destroy these, uh, get these out of the way, just real quick. And it is my uh, goal to finish this out tonight. Okay, these I want to move out of the way before I accidentally delete them. Oh gosh, and now they're all turned. <laughs> all right, move, um, let's see, rotate, turn, R rotate, 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 there we go, okay, cool. So now we're back to the uh, the original build angle because <clears throat> that's right out of the box. I did not turn those whenever I first placed them down. Uh, also, we're going to have to move all of our um, tiles out of the way. So that's that's a bummer, but oh well. Uh, time. I wish I had more of it because that's the one thing I don't have any of, which is time. And... Uh, you, you ever have those days where it's like, oh my gosh, where did the day go? That happens sometimes. And then there's other days it's just like, oh my gosh, why am I still awake? It's taking forever. And did you ever notice that <clears throat> time always seems to speed up when you're having fun? <laughs> it's like, wait, I don't want to get off the bouncy house yet. It's not time to end the birthday party. I don't want to leave the arcade. Do they have arcades anymore? I guess they, they're still like arcades, but no coin ops. You have to go to like bowling alleys to find those. Or movie theaters. Do movie theaters exist anymore? I don't know. Uh, in the town, like the, the city that I live in, they've gotten rid of most of the um, movie theaters. Because, I mean, everybody's watching Netflix and Google Play now. So... Or they just stream it. Oh, you want to rent a movie tonight? Yeah, let's go to Google. <laughs> Done. Um, we have a quite a large collection of Google Play movies, by the way. Oh, is that gonna work? That worked. Sweet. <clears throat> and uh, I'm I'm really waiting for Ready Player One to come out on. Google Play. Like, I don't know. Go Ready Player One has just inspired me because it, it's it's my generation. 1980s. Well, I guess that's not really my generation. I was I was born in 1981, so I guess it's kind of my, my age range. Uh, not really. Um, I was more of a 90s kid. So, right there on the cusp of the 80s. I guess. Because, I mean, I can't really, you know, <clears throat> have too much interest <laughs> as a one-year-old. <laughs> uh, maybe. 
If there's any one-year-olds that are watching me right now, <laughs> hashtag down below. Never mind, you can't hashtag your... <laughs> All right. Um, I want to make sure that I don't get these out of order, so... I'm going to have to stack these in some way that is significant. How am I going to do this? Um, I'll tell you what. Um, first in, last out. That's what I'm going to do. So this is the first one that I, I started on. I'm just going to place it right here. We're just going to continue on like this and stack it up. That way that I know... Um, sorry. Uh, Philo. First in, last out. Um, it's a um, programming term. And what I'm creating right now is called a stack. If, you're, if you've ever done any kind of programming or if you've ever interested in any kind of programming, um, old assembly language, um, machine language, used uh, Philo as well. First in, last out. So in order to get to data, you would have to pop the other data off of it to get to it. It's a pain. Um, and nowadays we have what's called FIFO, first in, first out. And you can imagine that as uh, like going to a line at Walmart or, or being in in a, in a queue. All right, the first one was pine. So we'll do that. The first one was pine, the second one was fur. So the first one out's going to be fur, the second one's gonna be pine. Finished. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's that's not too bad, right? And now all we have to do is place down the rest of the blueprints, and we will have completed our floor. Um, after this, I'm thinking I want to start putting up the glass around the outside, and uh, we'll work on getting the glass doors to work. Basically, I want two humongous double doors like all the way up to here like right in in the middle have one set of double doors over here one set of doors over here and they'll open up like this this huge so it's like the entire length of the thing and then I'll I'll put like a laser across there and a detector on that side that way anybody that walks up to it's going to get pushed out of the way I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> uh, but I do know... Oh, wait, wait. Before I do that... I, oh! <laughs> sit on the toilet! Um, before I do that, I need to come over here and get... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've still got some pieces right here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Wondrous. That's good. That's too short. There we go. Glorious. Glorious elm. Wait, is this elm? I think this is elm. Yeah, this is Elm. <clears throat> if it were a little bit darker color, it'd be uh, Oak. But we're not working with Oak. Oh, did I miss? Hold on. Swish! Haha, <laughs> got it. And swish! <laughs> uh, gotta have fun with it. Jump! That was awesome. Got a whole bunch of, like, little scavenger pieces, I guess you could call them. Oh, no, I, like, missed an entire section over here. Hold on. Why did we miss that? There we go. What about the pieces under there? Did we get those? Yeah, we got those. And we got those pieces under there. Okay. So let's go. Let's fill these in first. Um, I don't want to be too ADHD tonight. Running all over the place. I guess that's too late. It's ADHD every night for me. That one's at 60%. There you go. And good. That's the second piece that I've been like trying to drag over here to plank out. Are these one by ones? Yep, those are one by one. I'll grab this one. Yay! Doing incredible building tonight. Oh, that was... That's my 10 indicator. Hello, come here. Whoa, 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 Stop moving, stop moving. Okay, stabilize, stabilize. The elm wood is known for being the most unstable wood in the game. I'm just kidding. Um, actually, is there an unstable wood? That would be a cool addition. Unstable wood. 
literally it has a 10% chance of like glitching out at any given time. Unless planked. Unstable wood. Or something like that. I, I don't know. I was just going off something. I haven't had much coffee, so my, my brain is definitely going faster than it should. <sighs> um, I was trying to download the Oculus Rift um, software and trying to play Lumber in 3D. But I don't even know if Lumber has a 3D option or a VR option. But hopefully I can get it to download and get it to work correctly. And then you guys will see some VR Roblox. Which was, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. If I can get it to work. So, no promises. No promises. Just letting you know what's cool. What's out there. Um, <clears throat> by the way, huge shout out to the latest update. Um, he was in the last server that I was trying to uh, play in. And he was showing everyone how to do the rookie axe. How to get the rookie. So, huge shout out to him. Don't know if he's uh, going to be watching or if he knows me, but he was in the chat saying, Hi everyone, welcome to YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to get the rookie axe. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a there's a text YouTuber. What I mean is like, uh, if you're typing inside the chat about uh, YouTube stuff like that, then most likely you don't have a microphone on. So, text YouTubers. Oh gosh, uh, get in there. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, I highly recommend a microphone, and um, you don't have to have a face cam, but at least a microphone, because people watch YouTube, and they don't want to read YouTube. Like, that's that's a big indicator there. All right, so that's good. Let's go grab some glass doors. We are going. Oh, sitting on the toilet. <sighs> We are going to want to cover this and this with glass walls. And then all the rest is going to be glass doors. Oh goodness, that's going to be expensive. We got an expensive trip. <clears throat> Hi Tom, I'm going to go get some glass doors. Okay sir, have a good day. <laughs> Just flying by Tom. Tom, what's up? What? Who was that? Was that code driving along? <laughs> He's up to his shenanigans again. Yeah, yes, yes, I would. Um, it's a deal. Good. Now wait, is this? This is Saranok, right? Yeah, this is Saranok. That's the guy that likes ice cream. I can't believe I messed up on that question. That was. That was a newbie move. Noob. Code such a noob. Uh, no. See, what would even be even a bigger noob move was realizing that it is nighttime and that the store is not open. <laughs> You're like, wait a second. It is nighttime. Oh, no. <laughs> By the way, that guy's name is Merrily. Uh, he is actually brothers to Saranok. I think, I think they're brothers. Are they brothers? Maybe. I can never tell. And then uh, Merrily made Dodgeball. Or a dodgeball game. I don't know if he made the dodgeball, but he also has like a a place where he uh, it's like a trading post. Dude, wake up! I need glass doors. Well, since we're not going to be able to get in there right now, <clears throat> might as well go play with some TNT. That's always fun. Let's go play with some TNT. It is the best for you and me. Hey, Bob. Hey. <laughs> Buy this dynamite for 220. I'll take it. Hey, <laughs> thanks. No, thank you, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> And skadoosh. Whoa! That was... Wow. 
It, 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 that was not expecting to do that. That was a little close. All right, can I? Why not? <laughs> All right, look out, Bob. Look out, Bob. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, good distance. <laughs> How's your shop? <laughs> not even touched. Oh, goodness. All right, Bob. Let's get another one. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> He's like, hee hee, thanks. No, thank you, Bob, for having like one of the most destructive things in any game. <clears throat> can we put it in in the in the tree? Can we? Can I, I can't even see it up there. So, okay, let's just drop it right there. That's good. There we go. Come on, do it. Boom. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's do another one. <laughs> it's still daytime. I've got time. Buy this? Yes. Yes, I want to buy that. All right. All right, come on, come on. Let me, let me move. Let me move. All right, I want to see what it does to the truck again. So let's set, set it right there. Go. Please don't flip the truck. Please don't flip the truck. Please don't flip the truck. Boom! <laughs> it flipped the track. No! No, now I'm stranded over here. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna blow it up again. <laughs> In fact, we're. Oh, let's put it under the bed of the truck so it, like, flings it. Alright. I wonder how, how high the truck will go. If I, if I do end up having to reset, that's, that's gonna be a bummer. <laughs> All right, let's put it right under there. And hold on, I gotta, I gotta get that out of the way. Hold on, there, detonate. Oh, let's put this on it. Put the. <laughs> Do it. All right. Oh no, it did not flip the truck. No. Hmm. <clears throat> We're gonna have to put it more under. The truck it's so easy to flip a truck over yet so hard to flip it back onto its wheels all right chat 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 chatty chat chat oh goodness thank you for the subscribe or the the follow whichever the one that was amazing can i hit e while it's in the air i cannot all right all right let's try it under the cab is this the cab yeah there we go. All right, here you go, buddy. Do it. Oh, nice! <laughs> Saved it. Oh, that's fun. Um, it's daytime, by the way. <laughs> we can we can go back over to the shop. Oh goodness. <laughs> uh, I think playing with dynamite is like one of my favorite things to do inside lumber. Just because, like, the, tr the trees are randomly generated, and then, here, let's park it right there. All right, Corey. Got, is it Corey? I think it's, yeah, Corey. Corey, I got a lot of, of uh, glass I got to get today, so. Big order. Got big things happening. Well, sir, we have uh, a ton of stuff for you. That's perfect. How much is it? 550. Whew. This is going to be expensive. Just saying. Just saying. All right. There's one. <laughs> uh, how far into the video are we? We're in 19 minutes. So I got 10 minutes to get as much glass as I can. Oh, goody. This is going to be the, the most boring video ever, Code. Oh no, why is it taking forever? I'm just kidding. It's probably not that boring. It's probably probably really cool. Yes, yes please. Um, having some help on this would have really helped, by the way. In fact, I will probably get help on this before it's over. Oh gosh. <laughs> Run! <laughs> 
By the way, there is no run on Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, could you imagine? Could you imagine if there was a run? Oh. Lay that down. Do, 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 do. Yes, please. I wish there was a little bit less delay on the dialogues as well. I mean, there's these are a lot of hopes and dreams. But other than that, like I, I like the game. I love Lumber Tycoon too. We all know that there's glitches in games. We all know that there's things. By the way, if you are still losing your base, if your base gets glitched out, I cannot help you. I don't have the ability to restore, and I'm not going to pass a message on to Defaultio. Please stop asking. In the event that you have lost your base, there is a link inside my Discord that you can click on, and it will take you over to a place where bases get restored. Defaultio himself set it up. So he does make sure that the uh, the bases get restored. Um, something else that you can do is tweet at Defaultio on Twitter. He may not answer you, but he does read them. I promise. Do, 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 do. Boom. There we go. <clears throat> He's got a lot of people messaging him, by the way. Boop, 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 ba, doo, boom. I love the music of Lumber Tycoon 2. I guess I should say I love Kevin McAloid or McLeod. MacLeod. I've never really known how to say his name. Hmm. I probably should have counted how many I need. That's okay. We'll just get a bunch and then uh, we'll count them once we're done. Nah, I probably won't count them either. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to lie to you guys. I'm not going to count these. I'm just going to buy as many as I can and throw them up. Hopefully it will work. Maybe it will work. I don't know. Hmm. Christmas lights are still for sale, by the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think the reason that the Christmas lights are for sale is because that was a specific kind of wire and not necessarily like a hey this is a seasonal Christmas light kind of thing I bet I could do a really cool effect with some Christmas lights hmm it's a thought it's an idea but don't get distracted code you have to get all this glass we have to buy it and get it back over there oh, wait am I still in okay Okay, so if you guys didn't see it, there was one time that um, Dig Dug was playing inside Lumber Tycoon 2, and he was in a private server, and he was um, purchasing the Dark Pumpkins, and he had a truckload of Dark Pumpkins, but he was joined in a group with me since the day prior, because we had done a col collab, and... When I logged into Lumber Tycoon 2, I ended up dragging him with me, and he ended up losing the entire truck and all of the purchases he had made. It was bad. It was super bad. So, that's not good. Not good. Alright, how many, how many do we have? How, how many? Alright, let's count them. One, two, three, right, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Is that right? About eight. Something like that. <clears throat> I'll get two more. Two more. How far along are we? Twenty-four minutes. Two more. This is this is gonna be ten. I know ten's not gonna go across. But aren't these the size of large tiles? I think. Oh no, not uh, there. Bah. I'm like, why is it not giving me the yes no button? <laughs> I accidentally clicked on the object instead of Cory. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. And good. Oh, gosh. There. I got an itchy ear. Boop. For those of you that have not realized this, I love first person mode. 
it always makes things easier to move around for me. Uh, and I think that comes from years like back back whenever Nintendo 64 was cool. That's what I used to play. And most games were all in, in first person. Corey, thank you so much for your time, sir. Really appreciate it. You have yourself a great day. <clears throat> Thanks, Code. Come back anytime. You got it. This is my place. I come for fancy furnishings. <laughs> right over there is where uh, my car dealership is. Got warranties for days. <laughs> By the way, could you imagine if you had to buy gas inside here? Nobody ever thinks about that. It's like, oh, let's just jump in the truck and go. Or let's just jump in the car and, and we'll take off. Well, is the gas tank full? How's your tire pressure? Ain't that stuff good? I am glad we don't have to worry about that. And I'm glad that we don't have to worry about actual bathroom breaks. Like, could you imagine having to stop in the middle of a, a cave run? Or a, uh, a blue wood run? Just because your character is like, I can't cut anymore. I gotta go poop. <laughs> and that, that, you know, that would be <laughs> real life simulator. Real life simulator tycoon. Wait, what? <sighs> Coming on back. Dropping on off. Going to see how far this stuff goes. Okay. So, if I start opening them, which direction are they facing? I'm going to have to do one rotate. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, rotate, rotate. Come on. Why is this not attaching correctly? This looks funny. Why does this look funny? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, if I remember right, there's two ways that you can attach. I'm going to do rotate, rotate again. I'm going to attach it to here. Yep, there's two different ways. So what I want is I want to rotate this again so the glass is pushing towards the outside. So um, I'll show you, show you what I'm talking about here. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, move that one. <clears throat> so if I can get close enough, notice how the object itself is one square long by like 10 squares wide, right? It's 10 by 10 by one. Well, it's not actually one unit thick. That glass is about one, two, four, five. It's two fifths the way into the wood. So if you were to split out the one unit into five, it's the second fifth of the wood, if that makes sense. So if I place it like this, it looks like it's pushed further back. But if I rotate it twice, it pushes the opposite direction. So always keep that in mind whenever you're dealing with um, tiles or glass panes. Um, this is one of the problems I ran into with Samper Life. And if you guys remember Samper Life, I was trying and trying and trying to um, get everything lined up. And one of the reasons I couldn't is because I couldn't tell which direction the tiles were facing. So that's why you see me in the videos all the time going, rotate, 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 good. Rotate, turn, rotate, turn. Because I didn't know which directions were which. I was so new back then. All right, how many do we have? All right, how many did I place? Four and five. And come on, six, seven, hi code, seven, 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 come on, seven, okay, let's, let's move this forward a little bit, seven, oh goodness, we're going to go right across there, aren't we, seven, Eight. I need to pull away from the thing. There we go. 
Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I guess I bought a lot more than ten, huh? Twelve. Twelve. I bought twelve. Wow. And we're only like halfway across. Oh my gosh, this is... <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. We're, we're good. We're... We are halfway across. We've got the the floor is finally complete, so now I can I can officially say that the floor is done. The next step is going to be huge because I'm gonna I'm gonna do this twice. I, I don't want it to be this low. I want like three stacked high. One two three. This is gonna be huge. By the way, um, I'm going to have a ramp up the middle that'll get to the second floor and. I might not have a ramp. I might put in a conveyor system so if you park your, your car at the bottom, it will lift it to the top. <laughs> Brilliant idea, Code. Your mastermind is is blown our minds once again. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Do not forget, or no, please remember to, either one, if you want to say don't forget or if you want to say remember to, like, comment, and subscribe down below. These are your choice. They've always been your choice. No pressure from me. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.